BNB is absolutely flying right now. It is at $546 as of the time of me recording this video, pushing closer and closer to $550, working to that $600 level, and then trying to break the all-time high right around $700. Then we're in the price discovery zone. And I wanna go over more what I'm seeing on my price charts, what my thoughts are on this, but I would love to get your thoughts and opinions on this down in the comments below. So as you guys can tell, I'm very excited. I'm very bullish on BNB, on Binance itself. And as we take a look here on the monthly chart, what I've got going on are a couple different things. The big element that I want to showcase to you guys is looking at the Fibonacci retracement. So we just broke above a key level at the 0.236, trying to get back to that all-time high. There was a huge rally that took place just on a 15-minute time frame, and that nice little extra push is still holding itself well. Typically, what we'll see is if there's a strong push up, there could be a lot of selling pressure as people start pulling it down. They think that, okay, this was a little bit too hot, and then you start to see that movement back up. But the reality is that when we compare also to that of Ethereum, Ethereum is getting very close to its all-time high as well. Now, with Ethereum, it's only down about 19% from its all-time high. By comparison, BNB is down 21.65%. So this still has even another 2% that it could run up just to be in that same range as Ethereum. Personally, I am thinking that there's a huge potential that we could see a massive surge in BNB for a couple reasons. Number one is that with Ethereum being the second biggest cryptocurrency out there, one of the major drawbacks is the extremely high Ethereum gas fees. And if more people are participating in the network, we're still seeing that as a major problem, even with these changes going on. Just a lot of people tend to be really deterred by that. Sure, it could still have a huge appeal for people that are participating in, say, the NFT space, major institutional investors, the idea of ETFs, etc. By comparison, BNB, one of the negative aspects to that is what happened with CZ, the big lawsuit and the fine that happened with the Department of Justice. So, But that happened last year, and I'd say the dust basically settled with that. They have a new CEO. That CEO has been hard at work. Things are still operating. It's still moving forward. It's not like BNB fell off of the map. Like, guys, it's still very much a top five cryptocurrency. And something else to point out to you that's really cool or I find interesting, is that look at the circulating supply. With Ethereum, it's 120 million. And by comparison, BNB, it's 149.5 million. So they're not that far off just from a token count. But look at the actual market cap. BNB itself is at 81.4 million, uh, 81.4 billion, whereas Ethereum is at 475.6 billion. What I'm curious about, my theory is that Ethereum could end up hitting its all-time high, even making a nice little rally going up past it. But then we start to see a collapse. And that collapse potentially, again, this is just a theory. It may not happen. But if it happens, remember that you heard it from this channel. That sell pressure from Ethereum gets moved out of Ethereum and potentially into BNB as BNB continues to make a strong rally. BNB does have less gas fees. It does have its own exchange. They also have a history of burning a ton of tokens. And there's still a huge amount of crypto projects that are launching on BNB, that have already been on BNB, one of which I've covered a lot on this channel before, which is Operation Phoenix. This one came out here a little bit over a month ago, has a nice little community, starting to ramp up their marketing. And that's just one example. So BNB, lower gas fees, a lot of projects building off their liquidity paired with it. It's BNB's liquidity, uh, sorry, it's BNB's price climbs up. It also ends up helping out a lot of these other token projects that have that built-in back-end liquidity. And just overall, it looks really, really healthy on the charts. One of the things that we could take a look at is when this last time it made a significant rally up back in April of 2021, Look at how big this candle is. By comparison, if we move over to the previous month, so February 1st, the baseline of that candle lines up really well with that candle that took place back on April 1st of 2021. The significant difference is that that candle in that month of 2021 was 
a big boom boom candle. And this month for February of 2024, it had a rise up. It tapped that Fibonacci level. Look, I can zoom in on that for you guys. Tap that level, then pulled back, but it closed out in the green. Then on the new monthly candle, it had some sell pressure, dropped down, almost tapped that bottom of that Fibonacci level. And then what did it do? It started to climb, started to make that rise up. Then today, as of the time of me recording this video, broke above that Fibonacci and is currently sitting in that red zone, that 0.236 on that way back to the all-time high. Only down about 21%. These kinds of moves can move very fast. So let's actually take a look here over the course of that month back in 2021. It moved up 105%. 105% within the course of 30 days. That's three years ago. There's more institutional investors. There's more public sentiment that is trusting of crypto. More people in the space more exchanges, avenues, ways to do fiat on-ramping, to do off-ramping, etc. People are looking at these plays, trying to figure out where they should put their money into. And again, when you just factor in the simple fact that BNB has these really low gas fees, I think it could be a very real competitor for trying to overtake the Ethereum spot. Maybe you guys disagree with me on that, but hey, Right now, BNB, it's up 29% in the last seven days. With a lower market cap, the simple fact is it's easier to have big percentage changes and gains. Ethereum is over five times the market cap of BNB. Five times the amount of money essentially pushed into it. Even look on the daily volume per day, 23.7 billion traded for ethereum 3.8 for that of bnb uh wait 23 did i say trillion 23.7 billion and 3.8 billion for that of bnb the potential for it to move up is exponential realistically i'd say bnb has a very strong chance of overtaking the number three spot tether and passing above 100 uh, billion. Even that, we're still looking at it not being technically a fourth of the way to Ethereum. I mean, with BNB, this thing I think could very easily be half of Ethereum. I still think that it could overtake Ethereum from a market cap perspective, but imagine what that would do to the price. So let me know what you guys think about this, Don, in the comments below. Really wanna get your opinion. And besides that, if you haven't heard of the crypto exchange Margex, this allows for leverage trading. Maybe you've been looking for a platform. Maybe you've been looking for one where you could practice. The beautiful thing is with this exchange that there's no KYC. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to make an account. You do not have to make a deposit. So if you just want to play with it, you want to look around the platform, that's okay. They have demo funds. So if you want to practice leverage trading, you can do so. And then if you do use my referral link and you make a deposit of $100 or more, you can get a $50 bonus, which is pretty cool. They also have the ability to buy crypto directly through their platform using MasterCard, Visa, Google Pay, Apple Pay, PayPal. You can see that there's a lot of big name cryptocurrencies on here. They have also that ability to do copy trading. You can see what other people are doing for their performances. They have staking options. Find the referral link down in the description below. You can also check out the trading group HG Access. It's almost 2,000 members now. A lot of people talking about what crypto plays are looking good, new things, things just about to launch, currently active stuff. You want to join that exclusive trading group? You can find the link to join that through Patreon down in the description below. Thank you so much to my personal Patreon supporters. Double shout out thank you to Victor Vegas and Worlds of Rizvi for being higher level patrons. Thank you to my YouTube members for your support. If you want to use that trading bot tool that I have integrated in with TradingView that you saw in the video earlier, you can find a link to that also through my Patreon. Don't forget to hit subscribe. God bless. We'll see you in the next episode.